710 ESPN Seattle presents Brock and Salk's Wrap Up. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Huskies start practice today. Are they good or just familiar? I'm not a lawyer. I'm comedian Jubal Flag, and I'm funny. But going to jail is not. That's why you need the law offices of Heidi Hunt. 1-800-DUI-AWA or 1-800-DUI-AWA.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go find my pants. All right, Huskies start practice today, Brock. They'll be out there. And you, know, you start looking at this team, they could go in any direction right now. You like some of the core, right? You like the front seven, especially that defensive line. You love the running back. You really, really like your receiving core, especially with Casey Williams coming in. So there's some components of it that you really like, yet when you look at the roster and you start to look at that depth chart, there's a few areas that got to be pretty alarming. Well, yeah, obviously quarterback is going to be the number one. It's the most important position in sports, maybe less so in college than it is in the pros. And it's not to say that Keith Price doesn't develop into something, but right now you have to say it's a position of weakness, not strength strength for the Huskies. I think I would be honestly a little more concerned with linebacker than quarterback. I, I think <laughs> you can offset some of that, as you said earlier, in the college game when you can run it, when you got really good receivers. I think their offensive line will be improved. Now they have a tight end. And just watching Keith Price over the last year, I feel more comfortable there. You saw it at the Oregon game. If you've gone out to practice, some of the people off the record who've worked out with him behind the scenes, he continues to impress a lot of people. I honestly have a little more concern about the two other linebacker spots opposite quarterback. Dennison than I do the quarterback. Well, and no one knows really who's going to fill him. Obviously, Mason Kelly and Victor Iewa last year, two of the stars for this team on defense. Now, the nice thing there is they got a defensive line to be reckoned with. Maybe sure. one of, if not the best, in the in the conference. Yeah, and then what about your corners? What about your safeties? Well, then you get into that old debate, right? Just because you've heard of somebody, does it make them good? Quinton Richardson, uh, Trufant, right. names that we know, they're familiar, but are they good? They're going to have to take the next step. Know. Yeah, they're going to have to take the next step. And that's what you expect from your juniors and seniors. They have got to do that. Mason did it a year ago at linebacker. They moved forward. Alameda as a junior. The light bulb finally came on. I don't care what program you look at around America. It's nice to have freshmen that are playmakers and have some star power. But if you're going to be difference makers, it's going to be your juniors and seniors. I don't think it's any different at the University of Washington. Like Haole Jamora and Sione Patoye. Oh, look at you. You go. Yeah.